When seeing a patient for a dislocated IOL, it's important that you have the relevant lenses for secondary IOL fixation. And so in my printout, I always have the ZA9003. I use this for the Yamani technique. I also use it for optic capture and modified optic capture. I also have the Alcon CZ70BD and I use this lens in eyes with a very large white to white. And I also have the Bosch and Lom Invistatoric and I use this for um, patients that require a high degree of corneal astigmatic correction. This has two eyelets which you can fixate to the sclera. And as I said, over the CZ70BD and the um, ZA9003, this provides toric correction. Of, of these three lenses, um, I use the this tech this lens the most because for the vast majority of secondary IOL fixation, I perform Yamani intrascleral haptic fixation. The reason why I also use this lens for optic capture and modified optic capture is if for whatever reason the lens dislocates, I can use that lens for the Yamani technique down the road. So just to summarize, if you're seeing a patient with a dislocated IOL, it's important that your printout already has these lenses available. That way you don't have to go back and forth with your technician to add or subtract lenses. Of course, there are other lenses that you can use for secondary IOL fixation. For example, the Bosch and Lom Acrios IOL. Some use the Zeiss CT Lucia, and there are many other lenses available, but these are the common three that I use for secondary IOL fixation. I hope you found this video to be useful, and thanks for watching.